Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a new project which is called Private GPT and it has been gaining a lot of popularity recently. Now, Private GPT is a variant of the GPT language model and allows users to ask questions to their own documents without the need of an internet connection. It's completely free. It's protecting your privacy and you get the chance to actually ask your own questions and your own actual documents. Now, it's been designed to prioritize users' privacy by ensuring that there is no data that is left behind in the execution environment at any point during the process that you run this application. Now, the underlying technology behind Private GPT is based off of the LLMs developed by OpenAI, and that is specifically the GPT 3.5 architecture. Now, these models are trained on a vast amount of text data, and they're able to capably generate human-like responses on various prompts. Now, in the case of private GPT, the model has been adapted to work locally without relying on internet connection, making it suitable for situations where privacy or limited connectivity is a concern. And this is why this project has been gaining a lot of popularity, as there's different applications that are basically like relying heavily on internet connection as well as there's basically infringement on your own privacy so in this case you get the best of the both worlds where you're able to protect your own privacy as well as run this application without the need of an internet access now in today's video we're going to be showing you guys how you can actually install this locally on your desktop playing around with it and get to know a little bit about this actual application now guys before we actually get into the gist of the video if you guys haven't checked out my twitter this is where you will get the best and latest content of the ai world so definitely follow this if you guys haven't already uh and if you guys haven't subscribed guys it would mean the world to me if you guys can do so i'm gonna try my best to post daily i know the last two days have been really hectic for me so i haven't gotten a chance to upload but i'm gonna try to post every single day around two videos and with these videos i'm gonna be able to give you guys the best latest content in the ai world so i highly recommend that you do check out my older videos if you guys haven't as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that will definitely benefit you guys so please subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and i'll see you right into the next segment of the video before we actually get into the gist of the whole video i want to talk a little bit more about this project as well as some of the benefits about it now private gpt as we talked about enables users to ingest your own documents into the model and what this does is that it allows you to have a custom knowledge base for your queries. Now, this ingestion process usually involves providing the model with relevant text data that could be through your own PDFs, text documents, notes, and other different documents that are actually specified in this repo. And I'll leave the links down in the description below so that you can basically get a better understanding of the requirements as well as some of the text data that you can provide it. Now, what this does is that it allows it so it can then use to actually understand and answer questions based off the content that you provided within these documents in the application. Now, by keeping the whole entire process within the local execution, which I'll show you later on, when you keep all the information within this environment, what this application of private GPT does is that ensures that the data remains private and secured within the application. It's not exported. It's not provided to an internet source. It stayed within your local desktop. Now, the benefits of private GPT include the ability to ask questions and to get responses from your own documents without the need of an internet connection. Now, this is particularly useful in situations where internet access is limited, obviously, or restricted, such as like when you're in a remote area or not in a secure environment. Now, additionally to this, the privacy focused design of private GPT ensures that the sensitive information or the data that you do not want to be transmitted outside is stayed safe in your local desktop. And this is something that I'll be showcasing you later on. Now to actually use private GPT, I'm going to show you guys how you can install it, but you would typically install it and run the model within your own execution environment. And you'll be doing that using Visual Studio Code, which is a code edit editor. And it's something that can be done on a local machine in which you can edit the code as well as set up locally. And you will provide it with the relevant documents within Visual Studio Code so that you can ingest it within the application. The ingestion process basically means that you provide the documents with the actual application so that you're able to basically ask it any question or queries that you want relevant to the documents that you provide it. 
Now the model then processes the indexes of this text data and you're able to allow it to do anything that you want it to do in terms of question answering or receive different responses based off that data. Now let's actually get into the gist of this video, which we will talk about setting up the environment as well as installing it and showing you guys how you can actually play around with it. First things first guys, I want you guys to install these two files. It's going to take you a little bit longer. One of the files is around 3.5 GB, which is the groovy one. And then the GGLML model is going to be around 3 GB as well. So you want to make sure that you install these two. You can do that by clicking on these two links and it will start installing these two models. And this is something that you're going to be placing into the directory of your choice within the actual application. And this is how you can actually run this application. So these two are integral like files that you will need to make sure you have installed. So once you have done that, we can start on to the actual process. So first things first, you need to have Git installed. This is an application in which you can clone the repository onto your local desktop. So make sure you have this installed before you actually start cloning the repository. Secondly, you will need Python, which is your language editor, and this is needed to edit the code for the actual application. And lastly, you will need Visual Studio Code Editor, and this is your code editor, optional at choice, and this is used to basically edit the code as well as input different things that will be needed to ingest the files. So I highly recommend that you use this. You can use your own code editor at your own needs, but in my case, I'm gonna be using this one as it's more appealing and it's quite easy to use. So first things first, what you wanna do is open up command prompt. And once you have done that, you can basically go to the code over here by clicking this link, copy this link, and go into your command prompt and type in git clone and paste the link and click enter. Now what it will do it is it's gonna start cloning the repository onto your desktop. Now what you wanna do is get into the file that you have cloned so that you can do that by typing cd and typing in private gpt. Now once you're in this file, you can start installing the environments and this is by typing this or copying this code and you can do that exactly by copying this on the repo and pasting it right here. And what it will do, it will start installing the files that are required for to run the application onto your desktop. Now it'll take a couple of minutes, and once that is done, we'll open up Visual Studio Code and start working with the actual code. All right, guys, once that is finished, you can basically minimize this link on the, of the command prompt and go into Visual Studio Code. Now, once you have opened that up, click on Open Folder, input the private GPT for file. Now, first things first, uh, what you want to do is go into the example.in file and what you want to do is rename it and take out the actual uh, example. Now once that is done, you can obviously click save. And obviously this is going to be where you're going to be editing the parameters. So if you guys want to tweak around with it, you can tweak it over here. But in my case, I'm not going to be playing around with this. Now what you want to do next is create a new file. And this is where you're going to put the actual models that you installed. And wait, let me just rename it and put models. And what you want to do is input the two files that we've downloaded. And this is the ones that we've actually installed over here. And what I want you guys to do is input the two files into this folder. Now, once you have done that, I'll be right back. Sorry, guys, I think I made a mistake in the last step. What you want to do is actually create a folder, not a file. Just Keep that in mind, create a folder and name it as models. And what you need to do now is input the different files that we downloaded by clicking this button. And this is how you can actually input the models. All right, so once that is done uploading the different models, you can basically minimize this. And now when you're here in this source document folder, what you can now do is input the different types of text that you want to play around with. So you can upload your own PDF, text file, or different documents over here. So guys, once you have finished ingesting your files, you just have to click play. And once that is done, you go into the private GPT pi.py folder. And what you can do is you can start and play around with it by clicking play over here. Once that is done, it will start loading it into the terminal. And that's easy as that guys. That's how you can install private GPT locally on your desktop. And you'll get, once it's finished installing, it'll take a couple of minutes. It'll take approximately five to 10 minutes, depending on your own computer. 
but it took me around 10 minutes to install and then you can start playing around with it by asking questions and what it'll do it'll, it'll start working with the source documents that you ingested into the application and you can basically start asking questions or start working with prompts that will be related with your documents on your local file and no uh, documents or information will be released to anything else as it'll, all information will be stored privately on your local desktop and that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you found this video quite useful on private gpt and you got some sort of idea of how you can play around with this application so thank you so much for watching guys it really means a lot to me uh, i would highly appreciate it if you guys can go subscribe like this video and comment anything you want to see in the future it mean the world to me guys and with that thought, I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Have a bright smile and I'll catch you soon. Peace out, fellas.